guys, and welcome to the group spring mini session marketing with me, Stacey Potter. I'm so glad you guys joined. We're going to have a great two weeks of really focusing in on our mini sessions, understanding the psychology behind what our clients want and how to market to them and how to give them what they want and how to show the rest of the world that we're doing that so that the rest of, you know, the people that are like them also want to get photos from you guys. So I'm going to show you how, you know, being really smart about marketing is actually a loop because for example, once you're successful with your mini sessions, you are going to create beautiful content and have all this beautiful content to post and market with and, and reel in even more people that are your ideal clients, right? Because you styled those people, you know, you helped style the people for the mini session, or you did the session in whatever your style is. So when you post those mini session photos, it's going to speak to clients that are like that even more. And you're going to bring in more clients. Okay. You'll understand more as we go. I can talk forever as a lot of my one-on-one -on -one students know. I think I have two one-on-one -on -one or old one-on-one -on -one students in here right now. Hi guys. Okay. So the reason why I started mini sessions was because I had little kids and I really wanted to travel um, and I just couldn't work full time. It just didn't work with the lifestyle that we wanted to have for our children. I wanted to do attachment parenting and stay home. So I needed to figure out a way to make a lot of money in a short period of time. And I found I could be really clever and really successful with mini sessions. And in just the second year, mini sessions made me go six figures as a photographer in my second year of picking up a DSLR from going from, you know, shooting my mom's group to six figures <clears throat> in two years. Well, I'm proud of that. And I want that for everybody. So, um, you know, I also, so I figured out a way that I could do mini sessions twice a year. And each one I made around ten to twenty thousand dollars. I was in my twenties then, and so I could do like four sessions back to back in the morning and in the evening. Now I realize I just want to shoot what I want and have it be relaxed and nice. So now that I'm a lot older, <laughs> fifteen years later, I only I only shoot two a night. Um, sometimes more if I have to make an exception, but only two a night and, um, and I never take too many on. It's never too overwhelming. Um, and I only shoot in the evenings now and that's for almost everything. Okay. So to continue, like I said, um, if you guys have been listening to my stories, um, this is a mini sessions are a great way to bring in new clients. Like you get a whole new client base and then they're going to refer all their friends and you're going to, you know, just get all these new clients over time. Right. But you do get a lot of new clients just with running a proper marketing strategy promotion. Okay. Um, I told you, oh, I, I guess I didn't really tell you, but I did get to travel with my kids. I would bring a nanny cause my kids were little. So I still valued, being, you know, them being with me. So I got to bring a nanny and I got to travel and do mini sessions. And then I would have like a client base in San Francisco that I could return to once a year and do mini sessions. And even one year I did uh, mini sessions twice there. So um, I have a whole way of doing that. We're not going to go into that and that in this class. Um, that's a whole business model, right? That was a lot of fun to do though. So you can do a lot with mini sessions. Um, like I said before, uh, you're going to be producing amazing content, which is going to get you more bookings. Um, and with minis, obviously, if you do it right, you're going to work less and you're going to earn more. But what I see with like 99% of up and coming photographers who are very talented, but don't totally understand business
They think that they have to book as many sessions as possible and be as, you know, inexpensive as possible because they're afraid their market is oversaturated with photographers that charge not a lot. Like those are the top two things my one-on-one -on -one coaching students come, come to me for. for that's like their big, biggest first excuses towards, <laughs> towards doing the step-by-step -step work you have to do to build a, a business. So number one, um, number one is that my market is oversaturated. So it's definitely not. Uh, it might be oversaturated with cheap mini sessions being promoted improperly. So you don't want to fall into that category. But... It's not oversaturated with photographers that that will see their family in the way that you see their family. And so you just have to um, find the right people and get your you know get the right stuff in front of the right eyes. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so be sure to stay for the whole group because at the end, for everybody that stays, I have um, great freebies. And they're good ones, photography freebies. All right, so let's do this. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, we'll have a bingo light contest. It'll be fun, believe me. And you'll win something even cooler than the freebies. Okay, now let's begin. Okay, so just quickly about me. I'm Stacy. Hello, that's my ex-husband. I need to switch out that slide. I forgot. Um, I have a master's in psychology, so focusing on early attachment that's where my love for you know babies is and the psychology has really helped me in business this is my fourth successful business i created a baby carrier sold all around the world and in target that's me with elijah who's now 17. <laughs> okay all about me still birth doula there's me giving birth to amelia 12 years ago um, I'm a mommy and me yoga instructor and prenatal. <sighs> I've been a photographer for 15 years and I've, I've put, I've been teaching workshops, mentoring for 10 years, but really it's been 14 years. In my second year, I got an, I got an intern. I got somebody to work for me for free in exchange for teaching them. And you guys can all do it too. And if you don't know how, I'll tell you, but it's really easy and I highly recommend it. It's going to make you look amazing and that's going to change your business and get you the help, you know, a lot of help that you need. Okay. Um, and I have three awesome, intelligent kids. And uh, there was a few years where I was also, in addition to mini sessions, I was Instagramming to share. I mean, I guess people love their, like these quintessential childhood photos. So I spent several years just living off minis and Instagram, like photos like this. I would go outside when I heard my daughter laughing and I'd just take a picture of whatever they were doing. And that was it. I got like, you know, I would, I, they just got, it, it was just an amazing childhood for them because so many companies would just send boxes of stuff all the time. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Okay. So minis can be the perfect lifestyle for a new mom. So like I said, I've had three kids over, it was over 14 years. So I have a three-year-old right now and a 17-year-old. So a lot of that time I was either pregnant or nursing, you know, or, you know, doing attachment parenting with a young child. So I've relied on minis for my income for many of those 15 years. And I... And, you know, and any other new mom can too. You guys can too, or it can just be a great supplement to your already awesome income. Or it could be a way to skyrocket your income from zero to amazing. Okay. <laughs> Meet our newest family member, Odin. Uh, because I value him. I also value money. I value free time. I value travel. Those are the reasons I, you know, those are some of the reasons I do mini sessions. Um, oops, more pictures of Odin's. So I want to know your why. Why are you holding mini sessions? Is it for money? Is it for recognition? Is it to promote, you know, your new studio, like in general, or to get more eyes on it? Is it, um, 
you know, is it because you see a need in your community for moms to have, you know, like to be recognized, right? Like I see a need in Boulder moms and I'm just being cheesy, but honest that they work so hard because so many of them have graduate degrees and great jobs in the sciences and STEM and they work so hard and they have children and they don't get to spend as much time with them, but they still love and value them as much as anybody else. And it might be more important to this type of mom to have photos that reflect my style, which is joy and connection, right? So I really want you to go deep. And if you can't go deep, go shallow. <laughs> like, I want to make 20,000 bucks. Like, I want a quick cash infusion. I want to take my kids on a really nice vacation. Like, as soon as this, you know, the crazy month is over. I want to, um, <sighs> yeah. So there's lot, you know, there's lots of why. So think about your why, guys. Okay. Now I want you to think about your target market. So for me, you know, you can go on Google Analytics to get demographics. Demographics are things like age, gender, um, interests, hobbies, political, income, job. I don't know if I repeated myself <laughs> a couple times. Um, so you can get those from uh, Google Analytics. We'll know who your demo, like who's watching you. Uh, you can look at your Instagram insights and on your Facebook ad manager. There's also some information that's helpful. Um, but if you don't want to go that deep, you can just think about your ideal client and imagine she's a mom that lives in your head. Okay. So what you want to do is, is ask her, what's keeping you from booking? Like, I know you love my photography. I know you've been talking about getting photos. Okay. So think about that woman that is always on the cusp and like is always interested in your promotions. She might be in your DMs, like whatever, whatever the relationship is, you know that she's tempted. <laughs> okay. So what's keeping her from booking? Ask that woman in your head and she will tell you, okay? She might be like, uh, like if you're a newborn photographer and you want to hold newborn minis, um, she might say, I'm postpartum and I have to lose the baby weight. So then you, or, okay, I'm not going to say how to address that yet. Um, or like for the boho mommy and me minis, I love these because so many moms want to, have beautiful pictures of themselves with their babies and they want to look beautiful and feel beautiful and they want to feel like they have style. We've been in COVID and a lot of us wear like sweatpants and I don't wash my hair sometimes for two weeks, but I did just get it colored for many, many session seasons. So I look decent. Um, But Mommy and Me boho sessions are a great way to have, you know, to appeal to that subgroup in your audience that wants to feel trendy, wants to feel like this beautiful, trendy mom. We all want to feel like that perfect, beautiful, trendy mom on Instagram. And I think that's partially why I did so well for those few years when Amelia was young, because not only did her did my life, like, did I look like I was like living this perfect life, traveling and whatever she, my kids were too. And that's the ideal, right? Nobody posts the bad stuff. Like if I told you what was some of the stuff that was going on at the same time, but that didn't mean she also wasn't having an ideal like childhood. Okay. I digress as I often do. Okay. The next thing you want to ask is what mini session offer would best motivate this reluctant mom, and the mom is in your audience, not my audience, to finally book, to finally book. And we're talking about in the mini session. So let's go back to that boho mom. So obviously the offer would be boho mini sessions. And then we're going to build a lot of our marketing around showing mom how beautiful and intimate and connect 
how beautiful she's going to feel about herself and intimate and connected she's going to feel to her child after she does these photos with you and everybody else is going to see that um okay or for me in my audience personally because i've been doing photography for i mean and it, it could it's not because i've been doing photography for so long but um you know i just decided that there's so many moms in my audience that do want to book and it's always you know they don't feel like they can spend the money on themselves they don't feel like they're worth it because you know as moms we just put our kids first and we want to give that money to our kids and family photography is a luxury my average on mini sessions is 850 so you know they go in paying 200 and then the digital negatives are 650 and that's what most people purchase, but there's more of a pack. And it will go all over that too. Um, anyway, my average is 850 And to most moms, that's, I mean, to all the moms I shoot, that's totally doable. Like there's small things they'd have to give up. Like sometimes their dresses are more expensive than the mini shoot. So... Um, it's just a perceived financial objection. It's not like we're going after the moms that can't afford it and we want to trick them into it. No. And that's why you don't want to get the bargain hunters and you don't want to get the, you know, there's moms that have gotten wise to up and coming photographers devaluing themselves and offering really cheap mini sessions. So I've heard clients who have called me for inquiring saying like when they find out that the digitals aren't included and then they don't hire me they're like well you know i've been to six photographers who you know it was only 150 and they gave me all the digital negatives and i'm like well go back to them <laughs> like, i don't why i don't want you to have to the next person i don't want you to treat me like crap and then have to the next person so you don't have to appeal to everybody you have to appeal to the right people and to do that you have to know what's appealing to them so ask that ideal client who lives in your head she'll help you okay so wow that was a a good lesson i felt like i could talk twice as long but let's keep it there so for homework i want you to do um an introduction exercise i know i would love to like really get to know you all. And when I first started out with my business coach, the very first assignment she gave me was to tell my photography journey in stories with my face on video. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> and I do it periodically. I update it periodically um, so that it gets better and better. So I'll do it as well. If anybody else wants to do it, that's the challenge. I will all post and support each other. You definitely don't have to do a video. You could um, post just story slides with, you know, photos and just cute little blurbs about your photo journey. Like, for me, it would be like, first I got my master's, you know, like I told you earlier, but, <clears throat> but much more, but like in the bulleted form that I showed you on the slide, I would do one, one story slide for each bullet of your photography journey. Uh, and if you're not on Instagram, like if that's not your jam, whatever is your platform, please do let me know in the group because I am familiar with all most of the platforms so I can teach to it. But Instagram is where I'm most popular, but I'm also on YouTube and other, every, you know, other places. Ah, okay. Uh, and if you don't want to do it publicly, just... Um, if you want to write it out, just like a paragraph and post it to the group, we'd love to read it. Uh, there's a limit to the characters. I've got to figure out group me a little bit better. Um, yeah. And then make sure you've posted your Instagram handle if you want to the group so we can all follow each other and support each other there. Because uh, we can, you know, in a bit you'll see we can start tagging each other and things. Um Okay, answer the questions just in your head that are on the slides before this and brainstorm your ideas. And if you want, go to the group and tell us what you're, like after you've really thought about all of this and like let your heart dream on it, you know, like go to sleep tonight 
and wake up fresh in the morning and be like, is that idea still creating fire in my heart? Like, or whatever it is. And then if it is, post it to the group or let me know. I'd love to hear. And I'd love to hear, you know, like, like what the mini session is and what, why it's irresistible, why it's irresistible to, and who this client is. Okay. So just tell me everything. And I can't wait to hear. Okay. So we'll talk about pricing next time and about how pricing ties into the whole psychology around how they're going to purchase. And I got a lot of great tips there. All right, guys. I'll see you in the group. Bye.